Hello and welcome to Two Minute Design. I'm Dage, and today we're going to learn a technique to convert an image or an artwork into a sphere. Oh no. So open your image in Photoshop, go to the Layers panel, and let's unlock the background by clicking once on the lock icon here, and let's hit Ctrl or Command J to duplicate the layer. Now activate the elliptical marquee tool. Make sure you follow these settings in the options bar and click and drag on the canvas to create a selection around the area that you want to turn into a sphere. If the selection is not a perfect circle, then you'll need to hold down the shift key while dragging. Great, now let's go to filter, distort, spherize. Set the amount to 100% and the mode to normal and then hit OK. Good, let's apply the effect again, go to filter, and it should be the first option here. I'm gonna apply it one more time just to make it more dramatic. Awesome, since the selection is still active, we can go to the layers panel and simply click this button to create a layer mask. So now the sphere is on its own layer. Let's right click on it and convert it to a smart object. Press Ctrl or Command T to free transform and you can resize it and align it with the canvas. Press Enter to confirm. Now let's add some lighting effects. In the Layers panel, click this button to add an adjustment layer and then choose Curves. I want the curves to only affect the sphere, so hold down the Alt or Option key, hover the cursor over the area between these two layers, and when you see this icon, click once to create a clipping mask. Activate the Curves layer, and in the Properties panel, drag the line downwards from its center. Now activate the mask of the Curves adjustment layer, Activate the brush tool, make sure the foreground color is set to black, set it to a soft round brush, follow these settings in the options bar, resize the brush tip using the square bracket keys on your keyboard, and then paint on the sphere to start removing the shadows. Keep the shadows only in the bottom left area, just like that. For the highlights, let's do the same thing. Add a curves adjustment layer, and clip it to the layer below. Drag the line upwards, activate the mask, and with a soft black brush, start painting to remove the highlights from the bottom left area. So now the sphere has more volume. This is before we added the curves layers, and this is after. And you can try applying this effect on different images to see how it will look. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. Oh, come on.